20. I mean, that's what... Uh, okay. Actually, we're going to have a quick little chat about that, Hunter. Um, popular culture wants us to believe that, you know, the most dangerous beast is man during an apocalyptic scenario, right? But here's the thing about that. Um, that is not true. If you look at uh, earthquake areas, places hit by tsunamis, uh, natural disaster type stuff, right? Places hit by natural disasters or uh, terrorist attacks or everything like that, but uh, primarily natural disasters where uh, the grid goes down, uh, where they're without, you know, food, supplies, water, that, that type of thing. In every country on, on the planet, and yes, even during the earthquake on Haiti, even though the only thing we saw, if you know, who weren't on Haiti, were looting, because, you know, that drives ratings. People watch the looting because that is, you know, interesting. The majority of people helped each other out. Because here's the fun part about humanity. <clears throat> here's the fun part about humanity. The main... The main sign of finding settled humans um, compared to, you know, our more ape-like uh, uh, descendants, uh, no, as ascendants, predecessors, is healed bones, you know, healed leg bones, healed uh, shoulder bones, everything like that, healed, ar healed arms, healed legs, you, you name it, right? Because uh, the human superpower is actually empathy and sure it's also our inventiveness and our capacity for incredible violence when necessary but the main thing that sets humans apart from animals is our empathy and our ability to stop everything to take care of each other and that is like that's a fact there's there's no there's no way to refute that um Yes, there are bad people. Yes, there are, you know, uh, sociopaths, psychopaths, everything like that. But you can make the argument that, you know, these are very useful types of humans in, you know, in a regress in a regressed society because you need you still need someone to fight and organize the fighting. You know what I mean? And um, they would excel at that. But in any case, those are like, there's so few of those that, you know, that's just the outliers that confirms the rule. You know what I mean? Kudos my school don't got empathy. That's because teenagers, little Frosty, I'm just assuming teenager, sorry. Uh, that's because teenagers are still testing the limits out. Uh, your, your frontal cortex is not fully developed until your mid 20s. And, um, uh, that's so that's like when your brain is trying to figure out these things and empathy outside of your very small tribe and yourself is extremely underdeveloped uh which you know is why south uh, which, which is why high school is very often referred to as you know a zoo uh because it's just a bunch of unfinished humans uh, trying to uh, trying to finish you know the installation process of their core software. Empathy being the human superpower, that's so beautiful. And it's its completely backed up by science, Sunflower Volume 6. Uh, there, there's written books about this. It's called The War for, uh, the War for Kindness. It's written by um, Jamil Zaki. It's a beautiful book. I love that book. Um, it's, it's supported by archaeology, uh, anthropology, Everything like that. There's a reason why we have a whole line of study dedicated to humans as a social animal. Because we literally build each other up as an instinctual thing. You know? And I think, uh, I think, that, is, I think that is beautiful. Most prominent traits are adaptability to many environments. But, Valdar, rats do that. Cockroaches do that. Shit, dogs do that. Cats do that. You know? Humans do that as well. 
We do it better because we actively help each other out doing it. Rats show empathy too? It's not the same, Valdar. A rat breaks its leg, the other rats are leaving that rat. They're not bringing that rat food. For someone else, Grimoire, let's give it to the Magnificent Strictly Nine. Us versus them mentality. That's just tribalism, and uh, sometimes you regress to that. But then again, we are, regret we are progressing past tribalism for the uh, larger part of, uh, uh, you know, the biggest amount of society is progressing past tribalism. <clears throat> rats will let the brown rats hold their tail together, Moran. I mean, that's great. That means that the rats will come for us at some point. <laughs> uh... 